we might take from this place not only the memory of greatness, but its inspiration as well. I grew up in a, a, a pretty bad neighborhood, but the household that I lived in was even worse. I watched my mother uh, get punched in the face, have a black eye, and then go to work with makeup on just to support our family. When I was nine, uh, my mother, she walks into my grandmother's bedroom and found her murdered. By the time I was 15, growing up in the environment that I was in, I had so many brushes with death, and I remember one distinct time, you know, a guy had a gun in my head, you know, loaded gun in my head, pulled the trigger seven times, God's honest truth, the bullet didn't come out. I thought there has to be a bigger purpose for my life than what I'm experiencing. There gotta be more to life than this. My gym teacher was, my, was the head football coach. He said, son, I want you to play for our football team. And I said, well, I don't really have an interest, coach. He said, um, well, listen, if you don't do something with your life, from what I hear about you, you're going to end up dead or in jail pretty soon. I believe what you said could have been the, 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 the possible thing that saved my, my life. I had every excuse in the world not to succeed, but I made a very conscious decision not to use it. You know, even though I didn't initially like playing football or anything, as I played, I began to understand that football was shaping me as a man, and it was like I was learning about life through football. And it was like, it was the first time in my life that I ever committed to something and stuck to it. It was the first time that I worked hard, like really gave my all towards something because I didn't want to squander the opportunity that I had. Every year, I'll tell you, there was someone, and I'm not being modest, there was someone on that team that had more ability. They were bigger, stronger, faster, quicker, but I just outworked everyone. When I, when I realized that football was a vehicle, I used it to impact people's lives and do positive things. You know, at my, at my eulogy, I don't want my uh, daughter or whoever it may be giving my eulogy to talk about how many yards I gained or touchdowns I scored. I want my daughter to be able to talk about the man that Curtis Martin was, how, you know, when she was growing up, she looked for a man who was like her father, that he was a man of integrity, a man of strong character, and a God-fearing man. That's what I want. And then at the end of the day, she say, oh yeah, he was a pretty good football player. You know, out of all the things that I achieved, one of the things that I learned is that it's not necessarily what you achieve in life that matters most, but it's who you become in the process of those achievements that really matters. For more inspiration, go to profootballhof.com slash inspiration.